researchers at Alberta Children's Hospital hope to shed light on how adolescents and young adults with autism learn. The study uses magnetic resonance imaging and electroencephalography to compare brain activities in teens and young adults with autism and those without. So the study that we're doing has a couple of parts. Um, one is um, an online survey that people take from home, so there's no risk more than just you know being on the computer. Um, there's also an MRI portion of the study where we um, use MRI or magnetic resonance imaging to essentially take pictures of the brain of people who are on the autism spectrum. And this is also a very um, safe uh, technology, and then there's no known risk associated with it. They just give you like a couple of tests before starting, then. They just bring you to the MRI, do, do the scan, and a couple of the long-term tests. We have people um, do a set of tasks where they tell us how much they like um, certain images, and then we use those images to um, develop a learning task where people learn associations. They make button responses and they see pictures of things that they like. Uh, I saw some images of food, pictures of scenery, pictures from games, I think. That much I can recall. <laughs> People with autism generally have difficulties with communication and social interaction. They can exhibit repetitive behaviors or show a preoccupation with specific subjects. Autism spectrum disorder is a really important disorder to study. Um, it's very prevalent in the population, so it's estimated that about 1 in 68 people fall somewhere on the autism spectrum. Um, this disorder comes with a lot of challenges, and so anything we can do to help um, kind of mitigate those challenges will have an effect on people's um, education and employment prospects and ultimately quality of life. I'm going to keep positive until the study is completed and wait and see what the results in that are, but I'm really hoping that we're going to have answers to help the kids and people with autism going through society. They struggle every day and they have struggles that we can't even imagine. This is the first study of its kind to take place here in Calgary. So we have a new um, research MRI here at the Children's Hospital. It's been online for about a year or two and this is the first time it's been applied here to look at people on the autism spectrum. People really recognize the potential of these kinds of approaches because they let you study um, the brain in sort of awake, behaving people. With this study, may, when it completely help anyone with some type of autism to, in the long run, that's probably my, I'll be hoping for something in the long run. It makes me feel more compatible with myself and learning a bit more about it each day to find out how we can make this better to live with. People who are on the spectrum are learning the same or, or similarly to people who are you know, typically developing teens who are doing the task as well. Um, the question is for us, is there anything different about what's going on in their brain um, during the process? And we are still kind of crunching the numbers on that. We're still recruiting for the study. That's kind of an important message. Um, we are looking for uh, teenagers aged uh, 14 to 18 and young adults. So people who are aged um, 14 to 20 would be eligible to participate and should get in touch with us if they're interested. For more information about the study, phone 403-955-7440 or visit the website at www.asdbrainresearch.ca.